Let me show you how to significantly increase the battery life on your Google Pixel 9. And by significantly, I mean if you actually are a light user, you can easily get even a week of battery life from this phone. When it comes to power efficiency, actually compared to the older Pixels, for example, this has to be the most power efficient pixel that has ever been created. The first thing we can do is we can actually disable all the unneeded connections that we aren't really using. For example, if you are actually using your mobile data, make sure to turn off your Wi-Fi because why would you need Wi-Fi? Even if you are, aren't connected to a Wi-Fi, it still consumes data and it does a lot of background syncing basically. And same for Bluetooth. If you actually aren't using your Bluetooth, make sure to turn it off as again, it uh, consumes uh, quite a lot of battery when it scans in the background all the time. Then also let's go back to the settings, click on the location, scroll down, location services, and make sure to also disable this Wi-Fi scanning and also Bluetooth scanning. Again, these are some very hidden features that consumes quite a lot of battery in the background and they aren't really like improving your experience in any significant way. So you can easily turn them off. For most people, this is complete junk and it simply consumes quite a lot of battery as well. Also by default, your location is always on as well. So we can actually turn it off. So the only real uh, positive thing about this location being always on is that you can basically find your phone if it ever gets lost. So, but if you do not care about that, you can simply again disable the location and only, only enable it when you actually need it, when you actually need to open some maps. The next thing we can actually do is determine if the 5G in your area is actually any good. So for example, if you actually have a very poor reception for the 5G and it's not full bars, I really suggest to actually switch to 4G as that will actually uh, usually have much better reception and it will also consume way, way less battery. Because for example, if you have very poor reception, this phone really, really has to struggle uh, to connect to the network and then consumes significantly uh, way more battery life. So we can go to the settings, network and internet, open your SIMs, click on your SIM card you have, prefer network type, and we can basically switch to the 4G again if your uh, 5G in your area is actually not that good. And actually, uh, I'm actually using the 4G for most parts uh, of the day. And I only enable the 5G when I actually need to upload some videos on YouTube or maybe download some very large files. Also, when it comes to the network speeds, a very good 4G signal actually will provide you even better speeds than a poor 5G. Also, it will be more laggy uh, if it's poor signal, basically. By the way, even if you have a very good 5G signal in your area, it will still consume significantly more battery life. So again, maybe simply enable the 5G when you actually need it uh, to transfer some very large files. Next, we can go to the settings, display settings, and actually turn on the dark team. So when we actually turn on the dark team, as you can see, actually the screen gets less bright in all these menus and pretty much everywhere else as well. So basically this also consumes way, way less battery. For example, as you can see, there's pretty much like zero light coming from the screen. But when we enable, you can see just how much light gets wasted. And this also, uh, this uh, like bright theme is actually kind of worse for your eyes as well. So again, this is one of the biggest battery savers you can get on the Pixel 9. And also in the same display settings, we can go to the screen timeout and enable the screen attention feature. So basically, this phone can actually detect if someone is looking at it. So if it detects that you are actually looking at it, it actually won't turn off the screen. So what we can do, if you have this feature enabled, we can actually set the screen timeout to the minimum setting. So it will go off after 15 seconds, uh, basically if it isn't used. But again, if it actually detects that you are looking at it, it obviously still will keep on the screen. This is actually a very cool feature. Also in the same display settings, if you scroll all the way down, we can actually disable the 120 Hz display on this phone as well as this can actually save quite, quite a lot of battery. So again, uh, this phone actually has got some really nice display, but again, running it 
120 hertz it actually consumes quite a lot of battery but as you can see even on the regular settings the screen still is actually very decent so uh, for most uh, people actually uh, you don't really even need this 120 hertz as again it actually consumes way way more battery so if you want a better battery life and do not care about the 120 hertz you can easily drop it down and it will still be very good next let me show you some things that you actually should do from time to time on this phone so first we can actually close all the uh, apps running in the background that you simply aren't using it so again all these apps simply consumes quite a lot of battery even again if you are still not using but they are still in the background so simply click this and swipe all of them out also it's actually really good for the battery life and also for the general performance of this phone if you actually restart your phone from time to time so you can press the power button and the volume up to bring up this menu and then simply click restart so this actually clears a lot of background junk so it basically restarts the system and it will run more power efficient and again it will actually be more smooth as well so i really suggest to do this thing maybe once every three to four days the next thing we can actually do is verify that we still have some storage left on this phone for example if we go here and it says we have like less than five gigabytes of uh, remaining storage i really suggest to uh, free up some space on the phone and once this phone starts to run low on the storage the performance really will suffer on it it will become laggy it will become more slow all the process will take more time and again it won't actually feel very smooth and again this actually will consume way more battery life as again the phone will simply struggle to operate normally if you have only like one gigabyte of storage left so again make sure you still have uh, at least five gigabytes of storage left at any time uh, maybe like 10 gigabytes is the best and lastly this phone actually has some very good extreme battery saver as well so if we swipe down you can see in this menus here this battery saver if we click and hold it it actually will bring this to the more advanced menu where you can actually turn on the extreme battery saver as well if we click this over here we can actually choose which apps we actually want uh, to still be available in this extreme battery saver mode and if we swipe down we can actually still select which apps we still want to run even in this extreme battery saver so if there are some crucial apps you need simply select them when we go back and enable this extreme battery saver as you can see it actually like um, makes uh, most apps non-operational and again none of these apps will actually sync in the background this will significantly reduce the battery consumption as well so maybe in emergencies this is actually good but again uh, for example if it even like uh, limits the news so we can't even open them as well and again it will actually limit a lot of the connections also it will drop down uh, the frequency how it sings also it will turn on this dark mode as you can see as well so it will actually do a lot of these things i already showed you in the past so if you simply want a one click solution this extreme battery saver is actually really good and overall when it actually comes to the battery life I'm extremely impressed with the new Pixel 9. So it's way, way better than any of the past Google Pixel phones. Again, I have used many, many of them and uh, pretty much every Google Pixel phone I have had has had terrible battery life. Again, this is probably the first Pixel phone that actually has decent battery life. Also, the overheating issues have been fixed on this phone as well. And in general, it's actually a joy to use. Absolutely great phone. Good luck.